going to start off with a little bit of background. So I have started keeping the backgrounds plain, but as Flump's whiskers are white, a white background wouldn't work. Got a little bit. This is from Hungary, and it's actually a kind of red and yellow mix. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's such a versatile color and it doesn't matter if it's not it's a bit bright for now somewhere I have my reddish brown I will blend with this I'm just tugging the wool round to get this really defined line. And I'm just really trying to get the right shape as well. So I'm adding a little light blue there. Sometimes it's hard to tell if a colour is light blue or grey. It can be a bit tricky because to my eyes a grey can be quite blue. So that is should actually be a bit more grey. Somewhere I have the grey. Here we are. That's what I really want, this colour. It's a really excellent mixed sort of tabby colour actually. I'm not sure if it quite shows. So, just wanted some darker green, like that. There. And then really dark green at the top. So let's try a bit of this, green and brown, I'm just going to, here's a little mixture, I'm just going to mix it up a bit. pupil in I think let's see I'm being so careful where I put his pup her pupil because it can completely change the eye line not my usual black so it's quite hard to work with Always good to go over the blacks again. I think once I add a bit more of the rest surrounding her eye, it will all start to come together. Now I can see a tiny bit of kind of orange fleck on this side as well. So I'm just gonna add 
and brown. Like that. Well, that's one eye, not quite ready. I can see what's going on here. of her so yeah it really is like painting I think oh that's blending so nicely I'm really pleased with that sorry am I off the screen shall I move there better worse move this in a bit there we are and then I'm gonna just highlight edge of the pupil there and what I should do is I will be investing in better lighting soon how's that looking improving improving So I need a bit more, maybe a tiny bit of green, this green, this green, on this side. That's it. Another line. Of black and I think I should make that highlight a bit more bright. It's not bright enough at the moment. So let's just add. Get to keep lifting. There we go, so it doesn't get stuck. Oh, that's better. I think I really, I think that's working now. Now, finally, finally, I'm getting happier with this eye. And I have two different needles tonight. So this one is the gold tip Heidi Feathers. It doesn't leave any marks, but it it's very fine so it takes ages to felt but it's good for tiny details so I'm just mm, slowly building up um, it's quite an orange ear here so I like I tend to layer more than mix pre-mix but it's something that I think I should consider doing more is pre-mixing some of my colours, especially I was going to do a whole range of flesh tones. More important than drawing is observational skills. So breaking down a picture into light and dark, so you're not thinking, oh there's an eye, 
you're thinking there's a light bit, there's a dark bit, that sort of thing. Um, and also understanding why something isn't working. You know, if I think, oh, it doesn't look quite real or it looks wonky, to, to work, I mean, that's something I've learned over the years is to really work out what's wrong, what needs to be improved. Um, I sometimes look at my pictures in the mirror um, or I put two pictures, I put the photo and the artwork on my phone or iPad next to each other and that's a brilliant way of really seeing, um, I'll save that for later, of seeing what the problems are or what else needs, not problems, but just how to improve something. And I think it's all about contrast with light and dark and making things pop out at you and that kind of thing. So it's not even what you're putting down, it's what's next to it. So if I put black down, I'm always considering, well, should it be black? Should it be dark grey? Does that mean that what's next to it needs to be darker or lighter? Um, that kind of thing. So, for example, um, this patch, there's a very light patch on the top of um, Flump's head, and I have to, I can compare to all the other light patches when I've done it. So then I know, is it bright orange? Is it pale? Is it cream? That kind of thing. That wasn't a very good example. So one reason that I picked out this orange, this uh, green, is because I think it will work so well with the light orange and with um, Flump's eyes. It will sort of harmonize the whole picture. Of course it's not that orange, it's a little bit more blonde, but it's all, that's always a good base. <laughs> 